Last Thursday, Chicago-based editor and critic Susan Snodgrass came to campus for the next edition in the Visual Voices series. Our own Denny Smith was there to cover the lecture. That's all right. Bradley University held the next in the Visual Voices lecture series last Thursday. The topic? Bradley alum Ken Isaacs and his body of work. Susan Snodgrass presided over the lecture, talking about her book that focused on Isaac's accomplishments. I actually met Ken in 2009 um, for a project that I was working on. Several years after that, um, Brett Bloom and Mark Fisher of Half Letter Press approached me about doing a book on Ken. Ken Isaacs was known for his architectural work, specifically designs he created that fell under his new idea called matrix design, like living structures, microhouses, and alpha chambers. A large part of the book is sort of mapping those three um, bodies of work and the whole idea about the design process is he provides the sort of schematics for you to build these structures but there is a lot of agency in the users. Susan says that Ken was really an early progenitor of the DIY and tiny house movement but one big focus she touched on was the alpha chambers and their use in education. They were these immersive environments that also used this modular matrix structure that um, utilized a lot of slide imagery and sound and other kinds of kind of moving bits of information. Ken Isaacs was very unique in his design style. Susan says he really wasn't inspired by other artists and kind of just liked to go his own way. He was very kind of unique to the Midwest landscape and to the Midwest ideals he grew up with. He was really very singular and very independent and really had this idea early on as a student here and it's really what he followed almost until the end of his life. You can read more about Ken from Susan in her book Inside the Matrix, The Radical Designs of Ken Isaacs. For BUTV News, I'm Dennis Smith.